Hello. As I told, today we are, we are talking about uh, how to program an uh, M controller without knowing anything, almost anything. This is a motherboard of a Samsung Galaxy Ion 15, um, which is uh, actually no fix because uh, I can't figure out uh, what is wrong uh, with it. Uh, probably it has um, a fault with the PCH, most likely. Because um, I have some basic voltages present, 5 volts, 3.3 and also 1.05 and uh, that's all. I didn't find uh, any short. Uh, I've even compared with another working motherboard and um, tried BIOS and um, lots of things. And um, yeah, it is just somewhere stuck between uh, the plus uh, 1.05 volts and uh, deasserting SLP underscore S4. So um, the memory rail doesn't comes up. Uh, I don't get to enable and uh, I just don't know why. Um, also, uh, we have the uh, complication that this board uh, doesn't seem to work with power good signals. All of these power good signals here at 5 volts, 3.3 and uh, 1.05 are just not connected to anywhere. So no clue from where and um, yeah, I'm uh, running out of ideas uh, for this one. However, at uh, some point I decided um, it could be an issue with the M controller uh, or at least with the firmware of the M controller. So uh, I wanted to flash a, a, a known working firmware along with a, a known working BIOS and uh, yeah, the main issue here is uh, there is just nothing available. So um, I had to figure it out by myself. So um, yeah, there are no schematics, there is no board view and also in the web there is nothing to find about this board. The only thing we know is a model of the M controller. Let's check. So this is our M controller. It is a ENE KB9028GC and as you already noticed it is a BGA so we even don't have uh, surrounding pins we, we just have uh, all the pads underneath this BGA and uh, well that's, that's bad luck I've already worked on uh, this one so there are um, so there is flux around and everything, but this isn't important for what we do today. So we know the controller model. What next? Yeah, we need a programmer. Yeah, a programmer. So uh, I have the Vertinov of Jig. It's um, Vertinov of Jig PCB uh, revision 3.3. And uh, meanwhile, I think it is already uh, released um, a newer programmer from uh, Vertianov. Uh, I think it is called Successor, something like that. However, this is still good enough to program uh, any M controller I have dealt with so far. Um, you can, of course, use other programmers. Uh, I just can't uh, tell anything about them. Um, I think there is also um, the SVOD free and um, uh, XGECU, something like that. But uh, I can't really um, tell um, whether we are suitable or how we uh, work at all. So, Vertianov jig from Russia. Um, we have the jig. We have the a rim which fits to the keyboard connector and um, yeah we have the software the uh, Vertianov programming software but we have uh, one uh, big issue now how can we tell the pro programmer how it has to com communicate with the M controller 
Yeah, that's a question. A hard question without schematics. So, um, as I told, we have nothing. So, but what we have, what I found, is this M controller on in the schematics of another device. I found it in a HP device. Here. I found it in a HP Stream 14 minus Z. But what uh, pins do we need now to program it? For this question, we open the manual of the Wertchen object. And here, it is explained to work with the EC of the ENA, the following, following signals are needed. KSO3, KSI4, KSI7, KSI6, and KSI5. So this, we have to tell how the programmer uh, can communicate with these pins at the motherboard. So we have to find out where these pads are located. So how can we do that? So we have here the M controller and here, let's zoom in a bit. Here we have the, the pins in question. KSO3 is H13. KSI4, KSI5, KSI6, everything is here. Um, the pinout or the ballout is, uh, is a bit uh, different from the usual uh, QFN. A pinout, uh, a QFN, a normal uh, QFN M controller has 128 pins and uh, yeah, uh, much easier to figure this out. However, uh, we know the, the ball out and um, the main issue now is we don't have access to the pads. So we can't trace, for example, from uh, from H13 to the key keyboard connector without removing it. We, can, we just can't. So what do we have to do? Yeah, we have to remove it. And then we'll get this. I've removed the M controller successfully and uh, traced uh, the various um, pins related to programming uh, back to the keyboard connector. Yeah? Case O3, case I4, case I5, case I6, case I6, and case I7, as you see here. So then we have to pl uh, place it back, and now we can tell the programmer what he has to do. Uh, there is a file where I can add um, a custom programming, and uh, I did it, and uh, just uh, wrote down the board number, the number of keyboard pins, how it is aligned. So from the left, the most left one is pin one. This is the space between the pins, uh, 0.8 millimeters, and then the programming. So case O3 pad goes to keyboard connector pin four. Case I5 pad goes to keyboard connector pin 10, and so on. And that's it. So now we have everything uh, to um, program the M controller or to at least to read out the M controller for uh, for programming we of course need a valid uh, firmware file uh, which has to be sourced uh, from somewhere. I've just sort, uh, sourced it uh, from a second Odin 15 motherboards to be sure it is working. And yeah, now we can start programming it. So let's connect the programmer. rotate the board so like that yeah are the cables long enough yeah okay so Ground has to be connected to the motherboard, USB port, and PC, obviously, to the PC where you, where you program it from, from. So, ribbon cable. Uh, 
pin 1, 2 pin 1. This is important because we have to tell it the programmer so like that yeah okay basically it is like that so we have the, the ribbon to the keyboard connector we have uh, ground for, uh, to the motherboard and we have we now do the connection to the pc one second Yeah, did you hear that? It is on. The programmer is on. Now we start the software. So here we have the software. Avertian object software 8.12 and so on. Now we are select mode. We select the, the manufacturer. This is E and E. when this programmer will search in our file and the last line is our Odin 15 line. Now we tell it which uh, ribbon we use with how many pins, 30 pins, and it is one-sided. Now we will send the settings to the programmer. Wonderful, and now it uh, asks us to connect the motherboard to power, which we'll do now. So, power, and now we'll check the connection, and it is recognized as KB1920. However, it isn't important. Now we can read the file. Let's save it. As read Galaxy Book. And now it is reading. Wonderful. Read is complete. Let's check with a hex editor. Here, read Galaxy Book, it is 128 kilobytes, which is a normal size, and here we have our dump. Yeah? So now we have read out the dump, and uh, programming is more or less the same. Um, we'll um, press on bright so we connect the whole motherboard again as it is supposed to be like before when we read on right put our ene read galaxy book and it is immediately writing back to the motherboard Verifying. And that's it. Writing completed successfully. The M controller is programmed. And now the, st the task is done. Let's remove power first from the motherboard and also from the PC. So and now we can remove the programmer and just proceed with the troubleshooting. So in this case, it is uh, the following. It reacts to the power button. So this means um, the M controller is basically working. However, we have a basic consumption from about around um, 45 milliamps. 
And when I press the power button, here we have a green light. You can see the shine maybe. Maybe I rotate the board. Like that. So, so we have a green light here with uh, 45 milliamps consumption. And uh, when I press the power button, it immediately uh, raises to like 85 milliamps and the green LED turned blue. Can you see it? Maybe. So it is on, but it is just stuck. So I can't do anything for it. So I, however, this is how you can program uh, M controller with a BGA and uh, no schematics. When you have schematics, when you have uh, key of N IC with uh, 128 pins, it will be more easier to uh, create the programming or to get the programming uh, at all. So uh, yeah, but uh, I hope it, uh, it will help you a lot. So as always, thank you for watching and um, I have to think what I'll show you the next time. Bye.